Hi Torres! I hope you are having a wonderful day, week, month, year. Welcome to your general reading for August 2020. However, trust divine timing if this video is reaching you a month from now, three months from now, a year from now. Trust the timing. <laughs> And also, if the shoe doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't resonate, then it's not your message. This is general. However, hopefully there's something here for you that you can take away. So without further ado, let's get started and see what your angels and guides in the universe want you to know about this upcoming month, what energies to be aware of. Torres. Torres, you received allowance. So this is talking, uh, first of all, this is from my Sacred Geometry Oracle card deck for those of you who don't know. So just by looking at this image, it's going to help you activate this energy and frequency of allowance. We have the number nine up at the top, so there might be some ending or new beginning or completion of some kind occurring in your life or about to occur or recently has. And this is all about opening up the heart uh, with all of the green here and also coming into your power, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition and also having all your needs met, uh, all your basic needs met, because if that isn't the case, if that isn't happening, then we're going to most likely be in survival mode and fear, and it's just going to be a lot harder to come back into homeostasis. So you're wanting to create an environment for yourself, Taurus, that feels very yummy, very delicious. This is all Taurus energy, which is absolutely beautiful. So that you can relax and allow and be more open and receptive to all the gifts that the universe has for you. So you want to figure out, you know, what is causing you any kind of stress or tension in your body, in your mind, in your heart, and try to do a bit of problem solving so that you can, you can relax. So it might be a matter of just being a little bit organized or you're needing to make some kind of huge uh, life, life change. It's going to be different for all of you. So for some of you, it's going to be just a slight tweak of something. And I, th I feel like for some of you, you're like, wow, I didn't know that little thing was causing me so much stress. Like not being able to find my keys in the morning or... Or even just having like the TV blaring while you're eating or, you know, have decreasing distractions and being more organized for whatever reason, I feel like talking about organization with you. So there's some kind of area in your life that you're needing to simplify. I've, I'm getting that very strongly for you, Taurus. And that's going to help you a great deal and help you be able to think more clearly and feel more at peace and also feel more empowered and feel like you have more choices, more time in your day, you know, all of these types of things. For some of you, you're needing to, some of you feel like you're, you don't have enough hours in the day and that's kind of stressing you out so you're kind of needing to kind of reschedule your day and rearrange things so that it flows a lot better so for some of you you know it might be about your sleep patterns needing to wake up earlier going to bed earlier you know things like that it's going to be different for all of you i'm going to trust that 
anything that you're struggling with, the answers are just going to come to you and it's just going to be very, oh, uh, it's so simple. So I'm praying that that happens for you, Taurus. And I know that you will just come to the perfect answer and solution. So I will read. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow the universe becomes our parent, our partner, I wanted to say parent, <laughs> becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. For some of you, <laughs> you're needing to reparent yourself. Maybe growing up, there was a lot of stress in the home. There was a lot of chaos and disorganization, or there was a lot of judgment. And you feel maybe you have to be a perfectionist. And if you don't do it this way, then, you know, you're going to be looked down upon or judged, or, you know, you might have a fear of judgment. And so I feel like for some of you, for some of you, you're, you're carrying what other people think too much. So for example, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like for some of you Tauruses, you are pushing yourself far too much. And you're needing to be more allowing. You're needing to be more self-loving and really prioritize what feels loving rather than keeping up appearances or doing things that you think other people will be impressed by. So um, here in Vegas, it's been very, very hot. <laughs> it's been like 114. So let's say you really need to mow the lawn, but, and ideally it would happen this weekend, but it's going to be like so hot that that wouldn't be self-loving to do. Maybe you should wait either until the evening time and even then it's like still so hot here so you might want to wait until a day where it's a little bit cooler like 104 which might sound kind of crazy but for some of you living on the east coast or in colder areas so i hope that makes sense or even just like doing the dishes like i need to like clean the kitchen but i'm but you might feel really ill or you know, you need to start pri having different priorities for some of you and prioritizing self-love and self-care instead of, um, you know, putting so much pressure on yourself to do things in a certain way. So anyway, uh, let's jump into the beloved animal cards and see, oh, and see what else they have to say. And then, um, this is more, that was kind of a specific message, but as a more general message, Taurus, you are, I think you're going to be downloaded or come to ideas of, of like new ways of doing things and finding yourself thinking, oh, I never thought of it. I never thought to do it that way, or I never, you know, there's, it's just a lot of simplification and purification in doing things and finding new ways of doing things that feel very refreshing and exciting and more organized and just very nice and just, it's going to help streamline your life. Streamline, I feel like is your word, is your key word for this month. How can I streamline my life or this area of my life? Streamline. I love that word. Okay, let's, enough chitter chatter. Let's see what the animal totems have to say. Okay, so this is perfect. We have actually, it came in this order, sea serpent and crow. This is gorgeous because sea serpent this circle 
represents ether. This is the alchemical sign for ether. And this card has a lot of meanings, but this card also represents the second chakra in the system, which is the sacral chakra, which is all about being able to go with the flow, going with the flow of your desires, of what feels good, which is all about Taurus energy, making things very cozy. Um, when it comes to aesthetics and the physical plane, so making things smell really nice and feel really nice and look aesthetically pleasing and and everything like that and so there is something with your habits and ways of doing things and just going about living your day-to-day -day life this is a just a very practical reading <laughs> that you're going to uh, come to create even more law and order with with crow crow represents law and order and he's holding this like crystal ball which represents you know your vision your vision of your life and i'm feeling like your vision of your life has all of these nuances of delicious emotions and delicious experiences of the senses, if that makes sense. So Taurus, you are a very, not all of you, but just in general, Taurus is really good at being detail oriented and knowing what looks good and loves to look good and make their home look good. And it's also about feelings and the senses. So aromatherapy, candles, incense, these types of things, and wearing fabrics that feel really good, and maybe even playing relaxing sounds in your home, maybe uh, hanging up wind chimes on your porch, you know, all of these things to incorporate all of the senses that's just going to create a lot of more organization and make things more streamlined and maybe even maybe all of these things help you focus more and be more in the zone because some of you might be working from home now or you might be in a new job where you're needing to acclimate to a new environment and needing to do little things that help you feel cozy and comfortable so little things might be getting um if it's okay with your skin if it doesn't irritate your skin um getting like fragranced lotion and so having like a little ritual um when you can to put to put lotion on your hands and smell them and kind of relax or um there's just all sorts of little things that you could do throughout the day that would really help you kind of kind of relax to come back into this allowing state because you know life can be really stressful and so you're needing to find the things that work for you that you know bring you back into balance so some of you might be more uh, visually focused others might be more you know um olfactory focused smell aromatherapy using essential oils doing a quick five minute meditation having pictures of your loved ones you know whatever it is that helps you be more in allowance you know this is what you're going to want to do and then for others of you or as another piece of advice that's coming through is yeah it's just this whole message of simplifying things what's your vision what's your vision for your life you know i see this as a giant eye and then this is a crystal ball so it's all about your vision your desires you have a very specific vision that you want to fulfill and there's a lot of for some of you, I feel like there's a lot of details 
of how it all looks and feels and you get to be nitpicky Taurus because this is your vision this is your dream I I'm feeling so but overall what habits in your life can be simplified what can be taken off the table what can you delegate to other people and yeah streamline how can you streamline your life this is just i just love it okay and we're dealing with the ether and the air element so for others of you if it isn't about the physical plane i mean i mean it's all about your peace of mind and so using the physical plane like aro aromatherapy sound therapy all of these types of things is going to help you have more peace of mind i hope that makes sense this is all about having peace of mind for taurus so yeah let's see what the fairies have to say about this <laughs> for i don't know i was just getting for taurus um also having like scented like lip balm or lip gloss or something obviously this would be mostly for females um but but yeah like there's some kind of ritual that you might be wanting to create and integrate in your life so you know putting your favorite hand lotion on or your favorite perfume on or lipstick or um, lip balm or lip gloss on <laughs> misting your face <laughs> i don't know there's some kind of self-care self-pampering thing that only takes like a few seconds to do but it totally helps you put you back in the right state of mind and they even have the aromatherapy diffusers for your car now so if you drive a lot you could get that for your car yeah this is just all about organization <laughs> this is really funny and fun really fun i mean i love organization so okay taurus you got the iris of the rainbow so this is the promise of a happier tomorrow and she's also holding a staff with the taurus symbol so this is all about balancing earth air and water balancing your physical life with your mind and your emotions what's in your heart and she's balanced and she's balancing she's balancing herself on this rock and balancing this bubble on this froggy's back and um uh, it's just it's just gorgeous so this is the promise of a happier tomorrow and you are finding your balance being able to balance all these compo components and again with this bubble it also reminds me of a crystal ball so you're having you're setting up this vision it's there's there's just some kind of vision that you hold for yourself and remembering that you are royalty there is the lion's gate ascension portal that is opening on august 8th and i'm going to do a video about it soon and it's all about embracing your divinity, your royalty, and knowing that you are divinity embodied. And so this is just all about new beginnings, and she's just so allowing. So for some of you, you're needing to ask yourself, how can I be softer? And what things can I do throughout the day that will be kind of like a ritual for me that will help remind me to be softer that will help me relax and that's why i'm talking about incorporating these senses because that's just how a lot of tauruses are and so just by smelling that that smell <laughs> that you love to smell um whether it's lotion or perfume or whatever it's gonna help 
um, trigger you back into that state, back into that state of homeostasis. I'm hearing creator of dreams for Iris of the Rainbows. So you are creating the rainbow. You're having the perfect mi mixture of uh, light and humidity and uh, moisture in the air and everything to to create this rainbow. And so that's why you get to be picky here, Taurus, because you are creating a masterpiece you are being you are creating something very beautiful that that other people will enjoy next we have singer of the chalice so i believe this is what you're doing for other people so by taking care of you and being you some 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 people might think you're a little bit strange having this maybe hand lotion ritual or lip gloss ritual or perfume or aromatherapy or whatever. Let yourself be a queen and a king. Let yourself be a prince and a princess or a princess. Let yourself have these little quirks and don't let other people make fun of you because you're reminding people to love themselves and you're also giving people this enriching experience either just by interacting with you coming into your home or whatever this vision is that you're creating it's it's something that um that other people are going to be able to enjoy so some of you might very well be artists so you get to be very picky about your finished painting or your finished product okay you get to be picky here um, and if this is a matter of relationships, yeah, definitely. You definitely get to be picky. And then with the singer of the chalice as well, you know, um, if I didn't say it already, this is all about overflow of delicious emotions, love, appreciation, comforts, you know, just feeling absolutely nourished. And that's what you do for people, Torres. You nourish people's souls and to do that you need to make sure that your soul is nourished as well we have nellis the alchemist you have this vision you have the eye for fashion you have the eye for details the the aesthetic eye of what looks good and you get to be a little bit um, cheeky, tongue in cheek, you know, because her her bottom is showing there. And you get you wear the crown, Taurus. You have the final say. I'm I'm hearing that some people might not always agree with you, Taurus, because I think you you know I'm I'm kind of thinking of Simon Cowell now because he he knows talent when he sees it and so like you know things so well and other people might be like wait hold up Taurus like how do you know that was like so fast um and some people might not agree with you so the message that I'm just getting is that don't let other people's feedback or criticism or anything like that get to you. Totally trust your intuition here, Taurus, um, because you are the master, you are the expert, you are the pro in this department. And um, people can't deny that when you're involved, it always turns out, it's always perfection. It just always is. So trust your intuition remain focused remain diligent be allow yourself to be nitpicky and you are the alchemist you are the magician here you are the creator of this vision penelope dreamweaver you are ascending you are co-creating with the heavens here Taurus this is just absolutely gorgeous you're co-creating with the heavens you are rubbing shoulders with angels and gods and goddesses of the like and 
you're just head and shoulders above the rest or your vision is head and shoulders above the rest your your standards are head and head and above the head and shoulders above the rest and that's why the outcome is always perfect and that's why you need to trust your intuition here and you're just you're just ascending like your feet are not on the ground which is interesting because you are a Taurus, which is the earth element, yet you are rubbing shoulders with the heavens. It's just gorgeous. You are bringing heaven down into the physical. That is, I've heard Gemini, Geminis are also really good at that, but the Taurus that I'm connecting with, their their purpose in this life or part of their purpose in this life is to rendezvous with heavenly creature heavenly creatures and bring it down into the physical and other people might think that they're making a big deal out of nothing but those little details matter they are everything and so you trust your intuition, Taurus. Don't listen to anybody because the outcome will be head and shoulders above the rest and you are head and shoulders above the rest. And lastly, we have the maiden, which is just an auspicious new beginning, just auspicious results. Um, you are an asset or this is an asset. It has the potential of an entire forest there's a lot more where that came from. Um, just, just pure gold. There's no, there's no fear, no doubt, no insecurity, nothing like that. Okay, so now what I'm getting is that the Taurus that I'm connecting with has such a strong purpose in this life that all of the earthly kind of tasks the Taurus that I'm connecting with is so critically important to this planet that you are needing Taurus to delegate the earthly tasks such as perhaps washing the dishes, cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, all of these types of things need to be delegated out so that you can purely focus on this because this is what you're born to do and there are other people who love cooking who love cleaning who love doing all of those things and want to take care of you and want to help you in that way and that's what they were born to do and that's their passion you know so streamline you're needing to streamline your life so that you can really hone and let whatever this precious gem of a diamond really grow and blossom and flourish the maiden is the core essence of a desire before it's ever exposed to any kind of doubt fear or limitation that's why i feel very protective of you taurus of anybody who is talking down to you or criticizing you or making you question yourself or anything like that because what your intuition is telling you what you feel is right you know, all of these details, you know, all of it is spot on. You are spot on, Taurus, and don't let anybody make you think otherwise. Because this idea, this vision, you know, whatever it is, it is the thing that you were born to bring into this world for others to really enjoy and it's just something that's going to be very very valuable okay so now i'm going to get some spiritual advice for you taurus this has been so gorgeous so beautiful 
Okay, Taurus, you got a leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. It's not the other way around. You need to leap towards this vision. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, maybe not doing a lot of these mundane tasks such as washing the dishes, cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, taking care of the kids if that's applicable, you know, these types of things. Um, and delegating them out and uh, so that you can just purely focus as much time as you can on this vision. You know, you're creating a Michelangelo. You are um, you're just creating a masterpiece that I feel like <laughs> it's going to be different for all of you, but the Taurus that I'm connecting with, this is a, this is a message for the majority of Tauruses, but there is like a handful of Tauruses specifically, um, that are going to create something that is going to be... mesmerizing for decades and decades um, if not centuries okay um so it might be a little bit uncomfortable i feel for you because the Taurus that i am connecting with is very humble and likes to stay humble um, and doesn't want to get their feet off the ground or become too full of themselves or anything like that by delegating this out. They want to have one foot on earth. Um, but you're needing to take this leap because this is what successful people do. This is what millionaires do. They, they delegate out. So I don't know if it's a financial discomfort or just a, an emotional kind of discomfort, but you're needing to take some kind of leap and really own your royalty and really own your divinity. Next, we have you're already doing it. Stop overthinking, Taurus. Keep facing your true north. You're already doing it. Um, you're just needing to streamline this process. You're just needing more time to dedicate to this vision that you have. You're already doing it. You just need to streamline it and simplify it or something to that effect. Okay, so now I'm going to get your love advice and that will be that. Oh my gosh, Taurus, you got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh. You got wedding. This situation involves marriage. Oh my God. And then very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you have a new love. You have someone new in your life. And it just seems like this is the one. It's like you just know. You just know and there's going to be a wedding or, or a commitment of some kind. And it's going to happen very, very soon. So... So Torres, I hope that this was of value to you. I thoroughly enjoyed channeling and giving this reading. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, hitting that bell notification to be notified of future videos like this, and commenting and sharing. I very much appreciate you. It really means a lot to me and it also helps other people like you. Uh, find my content. So as always, I'm sending you so much of my love. Know that you are so, so loved by so many, physical and non-physical, and know that you are never, ever, ever alone. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, continue to seek the truth. Take care, Taurus. Bye.